What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be taking a look at a new jailbreak for iOS 11. It is called the Uncover Jailbreak. Uh, and this pretty much covers all of iOS 11. It is created by pwn to own And like I said, it's for iOS 11.0 through 11.4 beta 3. So if you're on pretty much any version of iOS 11, this jailbreak will work for you. If you're on 11.1.1, if you're on 11.3.1, whatever it is you're on, uh, you're covered with this jailbreak, which is pretty neat. Again, it's called the Uncovered Jailbreak. Uh, what's really neat about this as well is you do have a settings section within the application, which I thought was really cool. You have the ability to load tweaks. Um, you can load the daemons, etc. Here, as you can see, you have uh, refresh icon cache. You also do have the kernel exploit. You can you can you choose which one you'd like to use if you're on. 11.1.1, um, I know you want to use the AW version. I believe MP is multipath. I should probably switch to that because that multipath seems to work better. But um, it is really neat that you do have some settings with the jailbreak itself. You can check for updates for the jailbreak, which is neat. You can open Cydia from the jailbreak. You have the ability to restart your phone. You can share the diagnostics data. Uh, a bunch of cool options within the jailbreak itself. Uh, which I really like. Now, for me, I switched over from Electra to the Uncovered Jailbreak. So for those of you that are going to switch to this jailbreak, I'll kind of walk you through the process of how you're going to want to get it and do it. Um, so like I said, I went from Electra to the Uncovered. Now, another thing I want to mention real quick before we get into how to do this is it does come with a updated version of Cydia. As you can see, the header is a little bit different. It's more iOS 11 looking. Um, as you can see within the sources there as well and then in changes you do have you know the the header there that i think i think it looks really good uh, another thing that's nice is within the home page of cydia these user guides actually load their text on the electra jailbreak they did not it was really kind of goofy looking just having you know blank spaces right there which i thought was annoying so uh, like i said Uncover does come with an updated version of Cydia, and from what I've noticed, it does run smoother, it's more stable. Again, like I said with this jailbreak, the battery life is much better, there's less crashing, it just seems like an all-around better jailbreak. Now when switching from Electra, I do want to mention the tweaks you have installed will not carry over from jailbreak to jailbreak. So if you guys are going to switch from Electra to the Uncover jailbreak, make sure you go through your installed section here and anything that you really like and use all the time on your device, go ahead and maybe write it down on a piece of paper or something like that so that when you switch to jailbreak and you come back into Cydia, you can go back through and reinstall everything. Uh, one thing that's really nice though is all the settings you have set up for the tweaks will carry over. So for example, Boxy3, um, I had this kind of layout set, set up for my icons. When I reinstalled Boxy3, it kept the same settings, which was really cool. Another thing that does switch over is your sources. Your sources will carry over to the newer jailbreak or to the updated version of Cydia. I didn't have to go through and add sources again. Pretty much the only thing you will lose is the tweaks. And at least that's how it went for me. I lost all my tweaks, which I didn't really mind because I just went through, like I said, and reinstalled them all. And it really wasn't that much of a hassle, especially when you're upgrading jailbreaks and getting a more stable, better battery life jailbreak. It's just much better. So if you guys are going to switch, this is kind of the process you're going to want to do to switch from Electra to the Uncovered Jailbreak. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is just go ahead and do a power off or reboot on your phone. Uh, just go ahead and power it off and then turn it back on so that your device goes out of the jailbreak state. Um, once it boots back up, what you'll do is just go ahead and delete the Electra jailbreak application itself. Just go ahead and delete Electra. And then you're going to want to install the Uncovered Jailbreak. So the way I do it is I just do it through Tweakbox. Um, I've covered this application many times. It always has the newest jailbreaks on it and all that. So we'll just go ahead and uh, close out of this advertisement. Go into the app section. Go into the Tweakbox apps. We'll swipe down, as you can see here, are all the Electra jailbreaks. And if you keep uh, scrolling down here, you will see the Uncovered Jailbreak. It is a bit down here. See if we can't find it. There it is right there. Uncovered Jailbreak. What you'll do is just go ahead and click on it. Click on Install, and then it will install the Uncovered Jailbreak onto your device. After you guys have installed the application, 
you're going to want to go into settings here. You'll go into general. You go down to profiles and device management, and you will have to trust the application. I forget which one it is right there. You'll have to go ahead and click on trust, trust again, and then you will be able to open up the uncovered jailbreak. Now, once you've gotten to this point, um, pretty much all you got to do is click on the jailbreak button and it will go through its process. Now, I've noticed that um, this jailbreak, along with pretty much every other jailbreak for iOS 11, has been very buggy in terms of getting it to actually jailbreak your device. So it takes, uh, you know, multiple tries. It will re reboot your phone multiple times. Uh, also, during the jailbreak process um, on one of them, it did ask me just to do a reboot. Uh, which from what I understand was it was installing the updated version of Cydia during that process. It probably took me a good 15 to 20 minutes to get the jailbreak to actually enable. Um, just keep that in mind, guys. It does take quite a few tries, uh, just like every other iOS 11 jailbreak, to get it to actually jailbreak your device and go into the jailbreak mode. Um, but like I said, just keep trying. It will work. It did work on my device. And I think it's worth switching from Electra to Uncover, like I said, just because it's more stable, uh, better battery, a new updated version of Cydia. Um, it, it just, it's more well-polished, in my opinion. It seems to be getting updates frequently as well. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. It's very simple. You don't have to delete Cydia or anything like that or delete the tweaks off your device. None of that. Just, you know, take it out of jailbreak mode delete Electra, install and cover, and then click on jailbreak. Pretty straightforward. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.